Demystifying ambiguity, mastering clarity in passive voice sentences. Hello language learners! Today, we're going to take a deep dive into a somewhat tricky area of the English language, the passive voice. More specifically, we'll be tackling how to avoid ambiguity and maintain clarity when using this grammatical construct. By the end of this video, you'll be confidently crafting clear and concise passive voice sentences without the risk of causing confusion. The first thing we need to understand is what exactly we mean by ambiguity in passive voice sentences. To put it simply, an ambiguous sentence is one that can have more than one interpretation. The risk of ambiguity is particularly high with the passive voice because, by nature, it often omits the doer of the action. For example, consider the sentence, the window was broken. In the passive voice, we don't know who broke the window. It could have been a person, an object, or an event like a storm. To get a clearer idea, let's look at a few examples of ambiguous passive voice sentences. 1. The ball was kicked. We don't know who or what kicked the ball. 2. The cake was eaten. We don't know who ate the cake. 3. The letter was sent. We don't know who sent the letter. In each of these examples, the action is clear, but the agent, the person or thing doing the action, is missing, leading to ambiguity. So, how can we avoid ambiguity? One of the simplest ways is to include the agent in the sentence. By adding, by, followed by the agent, we can make the meaning of the sentence clear. Here's how we can revise our earlier examples to make them unambiguous. 1. The ball was kicked by the player. Now we know the player kicked the ball. 2. The cake was eaten by the children. Now we know the children ate the cake. 3. The letter was sent by Jane. Now we know Jane sent the letter. These sentences are clear because we know exactly who or what is doing the action. Of course, there will be times when you don't know or don't need to specify the agent. However, even in these cases, you can avoid ambiguity by ensuring the rest of your sentence is clear. This can be achieved through context, careful choice of words, and clarity in sentence construction. And that's a wrap. As you can see, Avoiding ambiguity in passive voice sentences is all about clarity. Knowing what you want to say and saying it as clearly as possible. We hope this video has been helpful and remember, practice makes perfect. Keep working on your passive voice sentences and soon, you'll be a master of unambiguous communication. Happy learning!